Hi. Hi. I'm just seeing you like live is just, oh my God. <laughs> You're adorable. <gasps> Spirit is very strong today and look at you. Oh my God, I feel like I've known you forever. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. It's great to have everybody here. I know that we have like 12 people sign up, so I'm going to let a few more people gather with us. Hey, Alexandra, it's good to see you again, my love. So, Jane, hi, hi, Yumi, hi, Priyanka, hi, Joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Janie, it's just energy. It's okay. You're fine. You're it's, adorable. It's all really good. It's all good. I'm sort of crossing over at this moment, and you're helping. Thank you. You're welcome, Lila. <sighs> I'm going to live stream us on Facebook, so give me just one moment. Oh, my God. Okay. Should I go invisible? Because I'm just going to cry the whole time. No, you're, <laughs> you're perfect. Don't, don't, don't even... Just one moment. Oh my just, God. Um, just like meditating, uh, the more of us that are here, the more of us that are participating, the greater the energy is. So it's all good. Hi, Sari. Welcome. Hi, Noel. Welcome. Yeah, just keep breathing the energy in. So, what you're actually feeling is the energy of the Akashic Records. Um, because for me, they're open and, you know, they already know who's going to get read. Hi, Noel's man. <laughs> Abraham. That, that's Abraham. Hi, Abraham. Is that, a, is that a sleeve you have on your left arm? How about this arm? Oh, look at both of you. Oh, my God. I got goosebumps. Gorgeous. <laughs> Lynn, these are my neighbors. Very nice. Hi. Hey guys, you. pleasure to meet you. I'm so glad you joined us. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Yeah, of course, thank thanks guys. for joining us. Yeah, absolutely, oh. absolutely. So my name is Reverend Lynn Laborde and um, I grew up in New York. It's where I happen to be domiciled right now. I have spent some time living in Los Angeles, living in both Northern and Southern California. I lived in Texas, I lived in Hawaii. Uh, I lived in Florida for a little bit too. And um, it is my divine pleasure to do the work that I do in the world. So I am a psychic, I'm a medium and a full body trance channel, which means I uh, invite in energy that's uh, ascended, you know, say, you know, ascended beings to come and speak through me. So I'm a vessel for them. And uh, it's gotten a little crowded. <laughs> it, it was half hour. <laughs> For the longest time and now there's about a dozen of them in any one day and they kind of like line up and like elbow each other <laughs> to get through it's pretty funny um every morning i have a group that we meet uh, we spend a couple hours in meditation and prayer and um, we do some channeling and we're studying uh, the work of the, a brilliant man by the name of jm hammer who channeled jesus back in the late 80s early 90s and they created a body of work that's called the way of mastery and so i've done all the work of a course of miracles and um one morning at three in the morning as he's prone to do jesus woke me up and he's like i want you to go downstairs and find this book on your bookshelf and it was a blue book called the way of mastery and i had purchased it but i hadn't read it yet and he said i want you to find the author and i'm and i said it says you're the author it said yes yeah, sure said, no find the, the person who channeled it so i found this guy jam hammer in Bali, and now now it's like 5 20 in the morning and i write to him and i'm like dear jam i know you don't know me but jesus just woke me up and he told me to find you <laughs> And he said he wants me to take a group of people through your body of work and I'm and channel him and I'm just you know calling to ask for permission. And he goes, You don't need my permission. They're his words, not mine. And I loved that humility because there are other people that I've known that, you know, they're like, This is my body of work. And even though I'm channeling Jesus, you know, this is mine, and you know, go find your own community and just ran into some ego along the way. And believe me, I'm a New York, I have a healthy ego, so I get it. But um, he was just very gracious. And he goes, it's a three-year journey. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? There are three little books. How this is a three-year journey? He said, there are 35 lessons. You read one lesson every month. And I'm like, every day? He goes, yeah. So I said, okay. And I asked about 30 of my friends if they wanted to join me. So we're a year and a half into this journey. 
and it has been extraordinary. And along the way, I um, became an advanced practitioner to read the Akashic Records, and that's what we're here for today. So my journey with the Akashic Records started when I was 11 years old, and my mom gave me a copy of a book called The Sleeping Prophet, all about Ed Casey and his journey. And I was, I was hooked. So the Akashic Records are a field of information. They're very much like the iCloud of our entire journey of our soul. Every lifetime we've ever had, every thought we've ever created, every circumstance that we've ever experienced, every word, every action, every deed, thought, all of it's in there. For every, for all of the simultaneous existences, simultaneous kind of this way more than this way, the past, the present, the future, it's all kind of happening at the same time. So I was very drawn because of my studies with Edgar, you know, the fascination with Edgar Casey. And this was like the seventies when that book came out. And I think there was like Chariots of the God. I was 11, Chariots of the God. Um, eventually Shirley MacLaine came out with her books, but hi Yumi, hey sweet girl. But there weren't, there weren't a lot of resources for kind of studying what all this was about. So a girlfriend of mine back in 2017 said on Facebook, hey, I just got trained to read the Akashic Records, but anyone like a reading? And I was like, oh my God, pick me. Her name was Tiffany. And I got my Akashic reading and it just blew me away. It was an absolute confirmation for so many things that I had, you know, believed about myself and known and understood and didn't have evidence for you know, about past lives or, you know, why I knew the things I did or things like that. So I followed Linda Howe, who wrote the quintessential book called How to Read the Akashic Records. And then back in 2018, in uh, January of 2018, she offered a three-month training for how to read the records. And I signed up and it was ridiculously expensive, but I didn't care. I, you know, I would have paid anything. I would have done anything except sell my cat. Yeah, that's not happening. But, you know, I, I was like, I'm all in. So it was a three month journey of 48 of us around the world getting together and reading the Akashic records with each other. And it was just mind blowing. The first time I opened the record, they started jumping up and down and screaming at me. And I have Claire's like my Claire Sessions, Claire Cognizance, Clairvoyance and Claire um, audience are open. So they started jumping up and down and screaming and it was like a celebration. They were like, halls of Amenti, halls of Amenti, halls of Amenti. And I was terrified. So I took my Akashic records and I went, oh, what the fuck was that? I was terrified out of my mind. So I went back to my teacher, Linda, and I was like, what just happened? And she said, they were just really happy to see you. <laughs> Asked them to calm down. And I'm like, what are the halls of a mentee? And she goes, I don't know, Google it. You know, because there's now that there's Google, you know, we get to know everything. Well, almost everything. Anyway, there's still some documents that have not been declassified. So I'm waiting. <laughs> anyway. The halls of Amenti were what were known as the Akashic Records back in Atlantis. And then all of a sudden, all these like Atlantean lifetime memories start coming. And you can understand, I was a stockbroker by training. I had five securities licenses. I was managing a half a billion dollars for one of the, you know, one of the most prestigious private banks in Beverly Hills. Like, you know, I was wearing suits and pearls and Chanel. And, you know, this was not this was not my world. Now, was I a psychic? Yes. Was I a medium? Yes. Was I sitting with a client and their dead uncle was like giving me advice? Yes. Would I say, well, what about doing something like this? And they go, you know what? I had an uncle who made that recommendation. Let's try that. You know, the uncle's like, tell him I'm here. And I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> or I do a healing for somebody. And then I'd say, no, shh, don't tell anybody. Because, you know, there, you couldn't, in, main, in my mind, you couldn't in mainstream society be like, and I'm a psychic and I'm a medium and I read the Akashic Records. Would you like to invest your $10 million with me? No. So, you know, I hid in that world. And then April 13th, 20, 2018. Oh, that's interesting. Right as I was finishing up the training for the Akashic Records, Spirit came to me one day and they said, that's it. Send your letter of, no, of resignation. And I had to send it to my boss, my boss's boss, my boss's boss's boss, and my boss's 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 boss. Because every time I kept telling my boss I didn't want it to quit, he's like, no, you can't. But I knew that if I took it four levels up, it was game over. That's so funny. I just put that together. So right as I was finishing my training with the Akashic Records, Spirit said, this is what you're doing for the rest of your life. And I took a deep breath and I told my mother. <laughs> I said, I'm a, I'm a psychic and I'm a medium. Oh, my God. This is my mother's best friend, Aunt Mary, who's supposed to be coming to visit her, except my mom is outside and Mary wants to come and visit. 
Jesus, please handle this. All right, it's out of my hand. I'm in my mother's house. <laughs> so look, there's spiritual spirituality and then there's the mundane world. And right now I'm in the mundane world. So thank you for bearing with me. Anyway, so I don't know, the Akashic records are like, I am so thrilled. I love to read them. I love to teach people how to read them. And um, I guess I'll just let you guys know now before I go into the reading. I'm actually teaching a standalone class because I had two people that were like, can we please learn from you? So I opened it up for Wednesday, the 18th. It's gonna be in the afternoon. Um, I don't normally do this. It's usually part of a series, but I opened it up. So if any of you have any inclination, you wanna get trained, it's a thrill a minute to be able to read the records for yourself. I have students that now, this is what they do for a living. So if that's anything that you're interested in, you know, we can talk more about that later. Let me see, is there anything else? I think that's it. All right. Does anyone have any questions before I begin? What do you want to know about this? And then, uh, and then we can go into it. Anybody? I don't want to say anything about this, but I just want you to know how special your videos are to me. And the fact that you sent me two emails back throughout the past few months means the world to me, but I'm not invisible. Thank you. Oh, no, of course. It's great to have you here. It's You're great. a dear one. A real dear one. George, George, can you please let Sue know that Mary just called for her? Mary's in the backyard. Okay, thank you. See, Jesus is really good that way. He took care of it instantaneously. I don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> what you ask, they provide. It's that, it's honest to God, it's that quick. Um, oh, Jane, you're so welcome, love. I, here's the thing. Jesus and I were talking because we do that because I channel him. And I said to him, I have, I have memories of being one of your younger sisters when you were here 2000 years ago. And I said, I just have to let you know, you were my favorite. And he, and he said to me, you were my favorite. Now, I promise you, he says that to all of us. I promise you, he makes every single one of us feel like we're his favorites. And one of my dear friends, there's this incredible man named Willem Van Galen and Willem transcribed every conversation I had Mary Magdalene and I went through 365 days where I channeled her every single day. And I brought through the divine feminine wisdom of the Course in Miracles lessons. And he just, he was tasked uh, with doing the translation. So we have a book that's coming out of all that. He wrote to me the other day and he said, I watched you when you were with uh, a friend of ours named Neil was here the other day. And Neil was the only one. And uh, Hannah and Priyanka work with me. They're two people I could not live my life without. They're just, Han I've known since before she was born and Priyanka I've known for a lifetime. So it's, you know, it's all even. Anyway, um, so the four of us were in the room in here and I worked with Neil and we really moved something, you know, beautifully and deeply for him. And Willem wrote to me and he said, you know that thing where you say to Jesus, you're my favorite and Jesus says to you, you know, you're my favorite. He said, you have that ability. So Jane, I... I love you. And I promise you that we've had lifetimes together. Like I'm a needle in a haystack. I don't advertise. I'm like a best kept secret. If you come to me, it's because spirits brought you to me. Like, you know, it isn't because I'm out here going, hi, I'm Lynn, you know, buy my wares. I, I, don't, I don't have anything to sell. I used to, but I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so if you're here, spirit has led you here. Like you don't get here by accident. That's kind of my point. Um, and I, I literally love everybody. Now, I can't say I like everybody because I'm still having an ego. And sometimes my ego is, you know, she's just an asshole. Can I, can we just like be real? Everybody have a moment like when their ego is just an asshole. Please raise your hand so I don't feel like I'm the only one. Okay, thank God everybody raise their hand. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm with an honest group of people. But, you know, mostly I try to rein her in and, and keep her calm. And I pray and I meditate and I do yoga and all that, you know, happy crap. But, um, you know, every once in a while, if someone's mean to my cat, you know, whatever it is, it gets me. So anyway, um, sorry, did you want to say something, sweet girl? No. Oh, you, you unmuted yourself. Okay. When you guys unmute yourself, your little, your little box goes green. So if there's any, if there's any questions you want to ask or anything you want to say, all right. So I'm going to let Hannah pick who gets their records read today. Cause I'm just, you know, so if, Hannah, just randomly please choose somebody. I choose Noelle, Dr. Noelle. Okay. Welcome to the party. <laughs> okay. 
Are you good with that? Sure. Yeah, thank you. So, oh my gosh, honor. so exciting. Thank you, Lynn. You're you're very welcome. Um, all right, so we're live on Facebook. So I just want to let you know that this goes live on Facebook. You know, I'm going to open your records. There's a prayer that I say that's aloud. There's a prayer that I say that's silent. I, you know, your masters, teachers, and loved ones come through. So it's not Lynn and my dazzling personality. I actually channel when I'm in the records. I won't remember what it, what's been said. It's going to be a different voice. It's going to be like a different personality. You know, that's just the way it works with me because I'm an oracle. That's my soul, uh, soul's origin as an oracle. You know, some people are like doctors and some people are lawyers and some people are the, the meat cutters and I'm the oracle. Uh, okay, so I need your full legal name. Noel Christine Rodriguez. Okay. So I want you to think of a question that you want to ask the records. Now, this isn't a crystal ball. This isn't like, you know, when am I going to this or when am I going to that? It's more like, why? Why am I afraid of my father? Why do I keep having this thing happen? Why am I scared of snakes, spiders, rabbits, whatever your deal is? Why do you have the habits and the patterns that you do that have been, you haven't been able to resolve? And that's really you know, because the, the records will spill their guts, so to speak, about, you know, what's in there for you. Um, why questions really work best. Now, you can ask, you know, why about a certain relationship you have? What is my soul, you know, my soul agreement with such and such? But you can't ask about someone else. You can't say, why was my mother this way? Why was my father this way? Because then you're trying to read their records and they don't, they don't go for that. Mm -hmm. Um Let's see, there's a prayer that I say, part of it is loud and part of it is silent. And then I'll go into a place, they'll let you know that the records are now open and then we'll begin a dialogue. Um, Priyanka, am I forgetting anything? Okay, cool. All right, I wanna thank you all for being here. I'm gonna go in and uh, just enjoy this. This is such an act of love. It is, it is literally one of my favorite things to do. The only thing that's a little more favorite is there's a, there's a class that I teach where I teach this and I teach this incredible technique called Akashic healing where you get to learn how to go into the records and actually go into the past lives and find out why they are the way they are and how they're like kind of impinging on this lifetime. So um, that's really my favorite thing to do. I love the healing part of this. Uh, anyway, that's a conversation for another time. Okay, here we go. Mm. I'm gonna just do an invocation. They're asking me to do an invocation. Okay. I invoke the violet flame of St. Germain. St. Germain, I ask you to come and surround all of us with your violet flame. Let the words that come forth be true. Let the hearts be pure and open. Let us be cleansed of any impurities that we have had in thought, in word, in actions. Let us remember our divine light. In Jesus' name I pray. Okay, here we go. And so we do acknowledge the forces of light asking for guidance, direction, and courage to know the truth as it is revealed for our highest good and the highest good of everyone connected to us. Oh, Holy Spirit of God. Help me to know Noel in the light of the Akashic records, to see Noel through the eyes of the Lords of the records and enable me to share the wisdom and compassion that the masters, teachers, and loved ones of Noel have for her. Mm, the records are now open. Greetings, beloved one. Mm. Beloved, it is our delight to be with you. 
is our delight to be able to communicate with you in this fashion. We do have many conversations with you. And we are here to be of service to you in this manner today. Beloved one, how may we be of assistance? Why am I so afraid of doing the work that I do? Beloved, you have three incarnations in which you were killed, maimed, slaughtered. One was a decapitation. Another involved torture. And hmm, one involved a sense or a series of being drowned. And there is still the sense memory of these ways in which you have died that remain with you. They still live as a consciousness within you. Mm. You have overridden these fears, beloved one, by allowing yourself to continue to do the work that you do, yet there is this sense of hesitation. There is this mm, fear that once again, you would be put to death, shall we say, for the ways in which you help many. Mm, beloved, these are easily reconcilable. That may seem an extreme comment to make, but please understand that they live as ghosts for you, if you will. Mm. And they are coming to the surface predominantly in this time of transition and phase for what it is that this mm, realm of consciousness is going through, through the shifts that are occurring. And understand that you have mm, a support around you of your guidance that is encouraging you to resolve these so that you can burst forth even more with the gifts that you have. You have mm, beings that are coming in, they come in as clients, they come into your work and they have been with you through the journey of existence. Some even, mm, have been your judge, jury, and executioners, if you will. And what you are here to do, beloved, is to forgive, understand that there is an aspect of consciousness that has regulated and directed and pre-planned all of this. So there is indeed not a sense of you being a victim to any of this beloved one. Rather, the uh, writer, the director, and the producer of all of your existence. Mm. For you to look within and understand that the fears that you have do not support what is occurring in this present dynamic, you will find the roadmap to when, where, and how. Look to Asia, look to Atlantis, and look to uh, what would be considered uh, mm, mm, current current day Britain, current day. Britain for being uh, held in a stockade and being tortured. And here you will find the resolution for the fear that dominates you. Yet we would like to applaud you, beloved, for your capacity to walk through the fire and to walk through the fear. But it would certainly be more enjoyable, would it not, if that were eradicated? Look to. Hmm, Look to uh, 1139 in what is now known as Japan. Look to hmm, even more ancient as you go back into the realms of what had been known as Atlantis. There was even time that you spent, hmm, of course, in Egypt, but there was more of a sense of a sisterhood there for you, temple priestesses and goddesses and such does not carry the same wounding for you. Mm, and then look to what would be mm, mm, 1762 uh, in what was known as Britain and uh, torture that you received there. Uh, there has been a feeling of st steadfast patience that you have been able to apply. But beloved, as these memories are extracted and as they are lens for you, you will find yourself at peace and at joy, the 
the work that you do in the world. You have always our blessings and our guidance. We love you. It is indeed our honor to be with you. Ask for us again, beloved. Know that we guide you. We love you. We thank you. This transmission is complete. I would like to thank the masters, teachers, and loved ones for their love and compassion. I would like to thank the lords of the Akashic Records for their point of view. And I would like to thank the Holy Spirit of Light for all knowledge and healing. The records are now closed, amen. The records are now closed, amen. The records are now closed, amen. I am burning up. Whatever that was, that was intense. <clears throat> <laughs> did you get your answers, my love? I did. It's in line yeah. with some information that's already come to me. So <clears throat> I think, uh, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. That was beautiful. You're very welcome. You're very, Thank very you, welcome. Hannah. Definitely spirit brought me to Hannah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All righty. Well, I thank you all for coming and yeah, if you're here, if this is something that I, I'm here every Friday doing this, we do the Akashic records every Friday. So you're welcome to come back. Um, again, I just literally yesterday threw this uh, training on the, on my schedule. So if you're at all interested in getting, getting learned to train, to read the records, um, Hannah can, Hannah or Priya can drop the link to you and, I think it's on the website and I think it's on my Facebook. Oh my God, whatever that was, was intense. I'm sweating. I've never been out walking my dog and someone asks me about work and I say a really generic answer. Like I work in a startup, an online training company and then it goes to within seconds. Oh, Akashic Records. It did not come out of my mouth. It came out of her mouth. And I was just like, what? Who talks about this stuff? So anyway, Noelle, it's such a pleasure for you to join us. And Lynn, that was an amazing reading. Welcome back. I can't wait for you to see the recording. Um, Noelle, we'll send you the recording. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's also, this is on uh, Lynn's uh, private Facebook page. So it's not like- And it's, why and it's, on, it's on YouTube why. and it's on the Facebook page. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not hard to find but I'm not like out there waving my flag at the corner. You know, those guys that stand out there and they dance with signs and they're, you know, <laughs> it's not how this goes. Does anybody have any questions about what just happened? Any in information that you want to ask about? Yes, I do. What you were saying about her could also apply to all of us, couldn't it? Um, because a lot of it resonated with me, not the dates and the cities, but the, the, <laughs> way of death and the fears and if that could be more toward the collective as well or is that just personal i mean i find that when readings are done they're very personal um but you know if you guys all ended up here i promise you this is a soul group you know like i think one or two of you have been here before but for all of you to show up like this this is a soul group like you guys so have traveled together. It might not be in England in 1772, but it could the same exact thing happen somewhere else. So, so I find myself being dragged away and pulled and thrown over cliffs and thrown in holes. And, you know, I feel all that. So yeah. I, I just want to jump in here, just a basic parameter for this question. When Lynn channels, she literally does it. She goes out of body. She's not present. So she does, actually isn't currently remembering what she just channeled. Oh, that's true. She said that. But, yes, thank you. But I will, I will like, would like to speak to, to your question. If Lynn, if you don't mind. No, go um, ahead. I'm, because, I'm I, sure. because I was present for this reading. <laughs> um, and yes, the answer to your question is yes, absolutely. I mean, it's very common for, um, you know, uh, supernatural gifts to be persecuted in past lives. So it, it's a common theme that we see um, for spiritual women 
you know, there's, I mean, there's, there's so much rich history about um, people being put to death for having gifts, right? Mm -hmm. So the answer to your question, that capacity is absolutely yes. There's a, class, there's a Thank class you. that I teach called Clearing the Clares. Thank you. And in Clearing the Clares, we measure where you are on a scale of zero to 10 for your clairaudience, clairsentience, clairvoyance, and claircognizance, which is your ability to see spirit beyond the physical eyes, to hear spirit beyond the human ears, to feel spirit beyond like someone coming up and touching you. And they do that sometimes. They like mess with you. But you know, like when you feel spirit and it comes in and you get goosebumps or the room temperature changes or something. Um, so I had a, a client and she was a magnificent healer, shaman. She could hear from spirit. She could feel spirit. She knew information from spirit, but her ability to see from spirit was completely shut down. And in the healing that we did with her, what we found out was she was the medicine woman of an, you know, an Indian tribe. I think it was like Wyoming. I don't know. I remember the details, but she was the last of the older generation that was still alive. You know, she knew how through medicinal herbs and stuff like that to keep her alive, but, but who was running the tribe now were like the younger generation. And they were like, Oh, old woman, you don't know what you're talking about. Like they didn't have the reverence for her. So she had a vision that the, these marauders, she called them marauders, were going to come and destroy the tribe. So the day that this, she saw this was happening, she went and put herself in a cave. And when she came back, like the tribe had just been completely wiped out. And there were a few people that were left and they were like, you did this. It's your fault. You're to blame. You made this happen. They took two pieces of wood, made them hot like burning coals and burnt her eyes out so that she could never like see again in that way. And then they left her for dead. And she made the decision at that time to never, to never use her visions to see again. So we healed that. Um, and then all of a sudden she had full use of all of her Claire abilities. So when the fears come up, when someone has a, a low ability to hear from spirit or see from spirit, or, you know, your tongue has been cut out, your eyes have been gouged out, your ears are, you know, been impaled, you've been impaled through your third eye, your hands have been cut off. I mean, that stuff comes back again and again and again. And it, 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 it's like an echo in this lifetime and all lifetimes filter into this one, literally like a funnel. So you'll have those sense memories and it, you know, it just requires a healing session or two to heal that stuff. And I do those healings and I teach those healings, you know, so it's, it's all available to you. Yeah. Anyway, I thank you all for being here. It has absolutely been my honor. I want to let you guys have your day back. And uh, if you want to speak, if you want to reach out, you can find me on Facebook. I'm easy to find there. And um, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was a pleasure to be with you all. Thank you. Bye. Love you, Lynn. So much love to you, Lynn. Thank you. You're welcome, Janie. All right. Bye, Bye everybody. Have a great day. Take care. <laughs>